Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new is has come. So, of course, it's a new year. And, uh, all right. So, I do have quite a lot today, but not for all for this podcast. Um. So, like I said, I'm trying to keep them shorter because of my time limits. So, let's jump right on into it. I have two off the hook. Um, They're pretty simple. Uh, I used... I have these two that I made for a friend and her granny. So, they're just two of these. And I did this by my own choice. And I did it after Christmas. So, but... Technically, I think they are a Christmas present, and because I'm giving her this little um, bag here, too. So, <laughs> it was somebody I ran into, and honestly, she said, Oh, by the way, I have your Christmas present at the house. Uh, okay. Didn't realize you realize we were doing that, but then I whipped this up, and so I'm good. And I haven't run into her since, so I'm good. But if I do, I have it ready. So there's that one. Set it over there because I don't want it to get this. Okay, the other thing that I've been working on is these right here. And this is modified pattern again. So I think I showed you guys that I got this all done, this little cowl. Okay. And so I went on to use the same stuff, and I'm going to see which ones match best. To make two ponytail hats. Okay. And there it is. I'm like, where is it? And I actually used a ponytail holder so that it would stretch and the girls can pull their hair through. Um, and then I start. This hat was actually a really a booger. I've never had one. I, and I have ends to weave in. It took me forever to figure out how to do this. And I don't know why. Um, the first two or three that I made, I had to stretch over my head and then it, this one was tough and I don't know why. I, I guess I just haven't done a hat in a long time. So, um, then I took the last skein of yarn and I am making another one and I've gotten this far on this cow this week. Um, so I hope to. I hope to have it done by the end of the week. Here's this. And I literally am going to join on what's left in the hat because it won't even make maybe a round on this. And it will use up all of the uh, yarn for this project. Now what this will do is it will give me two cowls and with matching hats. And I have two Christmas presents already ready for... Um, Tori and Macy. So Macy is RJ's girlfriend and Tori is my daughter. And they I already have these and the toys that we discussed that I got on sale for last week. So I have those. Um and I'm pretty proud of myself. I've almost got the bulk of my kids' stuff done for I'm looking for something done for Christmas and it's not even January what the 10th is today uh, there it is okay sorry so what is happening and why I have so much of this yarn is I got it with my kit for this and you can make one cow and then you would have enough to do the mint. So, when I, I don't know if I discussed this really with you guys. Sorry, my hair is everywhere. Uh, the way the stitch they have you use for this makes it double thick. And it was too bulky, and I didn't like it. So, um, I decided to change the stitch, which then changed the pattern. I mean, it's basically their formula. It's just the stitch that they have you using is not the stitch I used. Well, then my yarn went further. So now that my yarn has gone further, 
I'm able to make two of the same cows and the hats to boot plus the two little head things. And all of that came out of three of these skates. So, yeah, I, I'm really happy with that. And like I said, <sighs> sorry. This I should be done with probably by the end of this week. Um, or at least I'm hoping to be because I sit in the evening in crochet and this is, it's really getting thin. So I'm thinking I should be able to have this one done by the end of the week. Um, and I am proud of myself for already having, you know, the girls Christmas and, uh, I've got um, some other projects left to do, but I think I'm doing good on the Christmas thing for the kids. So, um, okay, I'll get to the rest of that here in a minute, my thoughts on that. All right, so with that wrapping up, I found a sale. Um, I've decided that I'm only buying yarn when it is on sale, number one, okay? And number two, only if I have a project in mind, which I do. So, sorry, my sinuses are killing me this morning. Mm. And that's just coffee, guys. Okay, so um, I had a coupon for free shipping, plus it was on sale, and I got four skeins. And I mostly just shop Mary Maxim. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why here in just a little bit. How this came about, why I um, more or less support them. Uh, so, let me refresh your memory. I got this kit with the book in it. And I have this yarn that is said I can make one of the shawls or whatever. Out of it. Well, it's cotton yarn. We discussed it last week. Well, I was like, I really don't like that cotton. I wanted something more woolish. So, this is, it is not wool. Okay, it's a crow. This is, I picked this up on sale. It was $3.99 a skein, which isn't bad. I got free shipping. So for 16 bucks, I got, you know, 15 98 whatever it was. I got, it's called Euro Baby, and it's Baby Jazz. And this one is called Grape Cheesecake. And it has, uh, you know that it's so hard to get the right colors. It has pops of blues and purples, and they're the muted colors, or... I like to call them frosted colors. They're, um, they'd almost, the pink is more mauve. The green is more mossy colored. Um, I, I don't know what everybody else calls it, but I like to call them frosty colors. Um, and I will be honest with you, there is more green in this than anything really. It, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just this skein, but, and there's no yellows in there. I know it's looking yellow, but it's mobs and mosses, and I got four skeins of them. Now, each skein is 3.52 ounces. Hang on. Yep. 3.52 ounces, and it says they're 356 yards. So... They are, uh, I'd say probably a, well, it's baby yarn. They're probably a few weight, maybe. I don't know how they, they don't ever say the weight like I did. Now they've got all this um, different rating system. When I was growing up, <coughs> there was DK weight, there was sport weight, there was worsted, there was chunky. There was fingering and there was thread. You know, it was just those kind of things. And I don't, to me, this is a DK. So if you remember that kind of style without the number and all this stuff, 
Um, there's the, you know, so I don't know. Oh, and I just held that upside down. <laughs> now they do it, um, by number or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, these are acrylic. Okay. There's no real wool in them. They do have, you know, poly, whatever. It's acrylic. Okay. If it is not wool or a natural, I just call it acrylic. I don't get into the whole, this kind of acrylic or that kind of acrylic or whatever. But I have four of these wonderful balls. <coughs> okay. And I am going to, my next project for crochet, which I have one I'm going to talk about, but until it gets kicked back to the crochet part, I guess I'm not ready. Okay, so I'm going to make something from this book that they sent me, and I'm really digging that. There are some others that I want to make too, but I don't have the right yarn. This right here, I think I'm actually going to use the blue yarn for, but I don't know. I don't know. I love that one. And then there was a, uh, where's that other one? I guess you don't really know where the other one is. So, okay. I want to make this one. And I talked about it last week and it is one of the ones that I have enough yarn to make, but I don't want it in cotton. So I was thinking, um, that I may do it in this. Don't know. They did it in gold and it looks very formal. But I don't know. We'll see how it works out and we'll see. I'm looking for that other thing. Of course I can't find it when I want it. Okay, so I was thinking I'd make that one for work. Oops, sorry. And I don't know. So I'm thinking this one might be done in the blue, the cotton. And because I do have enough, I think, to do that. And then the other one I might do. I really like this shirt too. It's a shirt right there. And it's made round. That's too cute. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. There it is right there. I have a geo that looks a little bit like that, but not as much. So, yeah. I could probably do that. I just can't wait to break into this book. Can you tell? I am really wanting to try some of these things. I have this yarn, which is cotton, which I don't really like so much for clothes, if that makes sense. I, I do make some cotton stuff, but it's always over stuff. So I'm going to do that. And then I've got this yarn that I'm going to do. So these two should come out of this book. And those are my two, my next two projects that I have lined up. Um, now, I have the blanket. And I couldn't, I, I discussed my nail that I had, and apparently Grandma had sharpened it or something because the other nail I found is the right size, but it won't go through the fabric. And it's just not working out. So I'm literally whip stitching the entire thing to the top, and then I am going to crochet to the whip stitches. It is what it is. So we'll see how that goes. I may not like it. Or see. Case scenario is it won't have a trim on it, you know, or I'll make the trim separate and then whip stitch it on. I've done that too. So yeah, I don't like to do that because it doesn't look as good and you'll have bubbles and you won't get it quite as long. Some places will have to be stretched a little bit and some places will have to be front. I don't like it, but I don't know. 
We'll see. We shall see. So, um, all right. I think I've got that. I've got the two Christmas presents almost done. Those two projects coming out of the book. I'm going to make. Uh, the other thing that it, it's just been one of those weeks. Okay. So, uh, Sunday I did do quite a bit of sewing. And when I say quite a bit, it's not really a lot. I mean, it is for me. Okay. But I spent the day in the sewing room because I was angry. It is what it is. Um, so, Mary Maxim has always been my go to shop for yarn online. Um, it is where I explore different yarns. I know that there are other kits of the month out with, is there Hershey's or Hershey's or whatever. Um, I'm sure there's other yarn catalogs. I just can't think of them right now. Um, and I know that they do them, but here's the thing. I, uh, Friday when I went to leave work, I found a chart on my card that wasn't mine and it just showed up at the bank um, it was from Amazon and the last thing that I bought off Amazon I bought off with a gift card I didn't even use that card so I had to cancel my card file a dispute um, and all of that and then uh, go to the bank, which I work there, so, but I had to do it on my own time. I can't do it on work time. I have never had an issue with my card anywhere. What? So, I took all of my, fr my saved information out of Amazon. And I am, I have moved all my money to one account. And if they get my credit card number, they can't run anything. I think there's 29 cents in my one account. My one account I just have so that I can get paid because I work for that bank. Um, but I've had another account since I was like 16. And I'm not going to do away with that account. So I just move it. I mean, RJ's on that account and everything else. So literally the one bank where I work, I have an account there and normally I move the money out and put it in my regular account. But with the holidays and then RJ not being able to cash check and I need to run to the bank for him and I ended up getting him cash because he couldn't get a check cash because his bank was closed and blah, blah, blah. it just worked out better. But in the long run, I had a scam on my card. So they say that in three to five days, I'll get it back. Um, I'm not real sure that I will. I don't know. The way the guy talked first, he kind of talked to me like, well, it's from this and it's from that. And they tried to blame it to me saying that um, the boots that I bought back in October, that's a charge for those. Uh, no. Um, if you remember, one got lost in the mail and they never arrived. And I called them and they replaced them. And now they're going to charge me for the replacement pair when the other pair never showed up. No, 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 no. So that's what they say that charges. But here's the problem. Number one, that's not the right amount. It's off by like 12 bucks. So it doesn't match. Nothing on that matches. So I don't know if he was just pulling my leg, trying to get me to, oh, it's this, oh, it's that, you know, just so I wouldn't panic because there was fraud on my card or what. But I do know that he was kind of hateful to me until I said that I had been to the bank and that the bank had the dispute and everything and that I've signed it and all that. And I said, um, she's waiting to hear from me whether we file it or not. And uh, so then he changed his tune. Oh, 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 no, no, it's it's good that you haven't filed that yet because it, it's okay. We'll fix this. Mm -hmm. 
So I went back to the bank and I said, okay, they say they're going to fix it. It's supposed to be here in three to five days. If it's not, the bank can handle it. And she had warned me saying that Amazon never likes for a bank to have to deal with the bank on their stuff. And I have no idea why he changed his tune to me when I said I'd already gone to the bank, but she was right. Um, another banker there that worked and overheard, and she, she says that it costs them more money. And so if you're paying a couple hundred bucks to settle a hundred dollar dispute, it's cheaper just to pay the hundred dollars and go on. So I don't know. That is why I normally only order from Mary Max. If not, I shop Hobby Lobby or just local. I don't go out and, you know, and most of the time I have something in mind for the yarn. These two, I have something called one of these patterns. <laughs> I'm going to make two things out of this book. I don't know which I'm going to start with. Don't know which one it's going to be. Those two yarns are going to be it. And there's my next two projects. So, yeah. Ooh. Anyway. Got my card canceled in case there was fraud on it. Got everything taken care of. And I'm done. So, uh, I'm literally just waiting to see if the um, refund comes in. And let them know so that they can cancel that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, like I said, I spent Sunday in the sewing room. I was angry over that whole thing. Um, RJ's got some shirts. I got to show sew buttons on, but he hasn't gotten them down here yet. Um, just, it, it just, this weekend was the first two day weekend since the holidays. And it seems so short. So. Anyway, all right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's going on. I will show you the sewing. I did go to Hobby Lobby, and I, in case you don't want to watch the whole thing, and you just are in the thing of I'm watching one podcast a week for her. Anyway, I'll just give you the rundown, and then if you want to see the stuff in that, we'll talk about it on Thursday. But I got Hobby Lobby. I got all the stuff to do the stockings double. So I'll talk to you a little bit about that. And then I added an extra one in for roommate and let's see what else. Uh, I got all the bags that I'm making pressed. I think there's 50 some. And so I set myself a goal of two a week or eight a month. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And then I sat down Sunday and made 10. I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> so I will see all of y'all. Um, there really isn't anything going on personally. Just been staying home. It's the week after the holidays. Um, next week I have a three day weekend. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to get the oil changed in my car. Um, but pretty much just in home relaxing. We watched a movie. Um, it was actually kind of funny. It was about a, a lady who'd been fired from Macy's lingerie. She was a manager of the lingerie department at Macy's and she turned bounty hunter. And I believe it was called one for the money. It is not a kid movie. I, okay. The language, the violence, the, but it was enough to keep a uh, roommate likes action packed adventure. And I like comedy romance and it was all of that into one so it was a pretty good choice but we watched that and other than that we've just been staying here doing stuff um it took me a long time to get everything pressed i have 52 bags pressed and matched and i have some of them cut some of them sewed um so yeah all right, guys, I hope you have a great blessed week. And, oh, the big news. And I almost forgot. I, I told myself I need to put it in both 
So we are two people away, two subscriptions away from our drawing. And for that, I am actually thinking I am going to give away one of the bags that I'm making and some yarn. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll include a pattern in there or not, but I'm working on it. So it's going to be pretty nice little thing, uh, uh, giveaway, but yeah, that's going to happen and it's going to happen soon. So I will see you guys later. Um, I guess in the sewing section, I need to figure out a way to, to call what to call that. So I don't know. I think I'll just call this one the crocheting section. And thanks for watching the crocheting section. I'll see y'all in the sewing section next week or Thursday. Man, I got to get it together. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.